Growing in popularity, tidal energy provides a clean, sustainable alternative to traditional energy sources like coal and oil. It also has a negligible impact on the environment's carbon footprint. Tidal energy also has the benefit of being highly predictable and having a high power output. In this video, we look at what tidal energy is, its benefits and drawbacks, and the future prospects of an underutilized yet extremely potential renewable energy source. What exactly is tidal energy, and how does it function? Well, tidal energy is a type of power generated by the natural rise and fall of tides caused by the gravitational interaction of the Earth, Sun, and Moon. The potential or kinetic energy of tidal movement is gathered and turned into electricity. This energy is renewable since it's generated from natural sources that restore at a faster rate than it is consumed, resulting in much less greenhouse gas emissions than burning fossil fuels. The total energy contained in tides worldwide is 3,000 gigawatts, though estimates of how much of that energy is available for power generation by tidal barrages are between 120 and 400 gigawatts, depending on the location and the potential for conversion. Tidal energy technology is divided into three categories, tidal range, tidal current, and hybrid forms. Let's take a brief look at them one by one. Number one, tidal range technologies. Technologies that utilize tidal ranges make use of the potential energy that is present in the height difference between high tide and low tide. Tidal range technologies are utilized in the construction of tidal barrage. A barrage is an artificial structure that, like dams and barriers, is built to contain a significant volume of water. The difference in water height between, within, and outside the contained area causes water to flow from one side to the other, allowing water to flow through the turbines inside the barrage and generate energy. The Annapolis Royal Generating Station in Canada is a tidal barrage-powered power facility. Tidal lagoons are very similar to tidal barrages, however, unlike tidal barrages, tidal lagoons do not need to be connected to the coast and can instead be located in the ocean. Lagoons have significantly less environmental repercussions than tidal barrages, making them a preferred option to the latter. Tidal reefs, tidal walls, and low-head tidal barrages are a few examples of other recently developed tidal range technologies. Number 2. Tidal Current Technologies Tidal current technologies, also known as tidal stream technologies, employ the kinetic energy of flowing water to power turbines in the same way as wind turbines are driven by air. This technology has grown more popular than tidal range methods because of its inexpensive cost and little environmental effect. Horizontal and vertical axis turbines are examples of this technology. Tidal currents turn the turbine's rotors, which can be angled horizontally or vertically. Tidal kites, which work best in areas with slower tidal flows, are another popular tidal current technique. The kite is fastened to the seafloor and flies through the water with a turbine placed beneath its wing to produce electricity from motion. The Maygen Tidal Energy Project in Scotland, with up to 398 megawatts of producing capacity, is anticipated to be the biggest tidal generating station using tidal current technology. Number 3. Hybrid Forms Technologies When it comes to the generation of energy, hybrid forms make the use of both tidal current technology and tidal range technology. Dynamic Tidal Power, DTP, is a relatively new addition to these technologies. A lengthy dam is erected perpendicular to the shoreline with a barrier created at the dam's terminus. DTP uses the height differential to produce potential energy and turbines to generate power. Now that we understand how energy is created by tidal current and range, let's look at the benefits and drawbacks of tidal energy to evaluate if it's an ideal and viable renewable source. One of the most prominent benefits is high predictability. Tidal energy is significantly more predictable and dependable than wind and solar energy, which are susceptible to the unpredictability and uncertainty of atmospheric forcing. Low tide and high tide cycles are straightforward to predict, and rarely vary unexpectedly. Long-term and reliable tidal current predictions may be produced hundreds of years in advance. Furthermore, meteorological conditions have little impact on tidal range. While tidal currents are significantly more affected by weather, the changes are still mild and consistent in comparison to wind and solar energy. Wind energy has already declined sharply in the United Kingdom. As a result, wind power output by UK wind farms dropped from over 6,000 millivolts to less than 500 millivolts in just nine days. Another benefit is high power output and space saving. Tidal devices collect more energy than wind turbines because water is approximately 830 times denser than air. 
This also indicates that tidal energy may produce more energy per unit area than wind energy, while occupying significantly less space than both solar and wind energy. Now let's take a look at some disadvantages of tidal energy. High construction and maintenance costs. According to a 2019 U.S. Department of Energy research, the typical commercial tidal energy project costs up to $280 U.S. dollars per megawatt hour, while wind energy costs around $20 per megawatt hour. The high upfront expenditures of building plants, as well as the expenses associated with maintaining gear that can withstand corrosive seawater and engineering work, contribute to the high cost of tidal power. Furthermore, the producing costs of other more mature renewable energy sources, such as wind and solar power, are declining. But the prices of tidal, a considerably less common renewable energy source, remain quite high. There are currently no plans to create supply networks or extend this technology. As a result, tidal energy costs are projected to stay high. More technical study is required to find innovative cost-cutting approaches. Another drawback is geographical restrictions. There are a limited number of locations appropriate for tidal systems. Tidal energy generating plants can only be built around coastlines. Tidal turbines cannot be installed in shallow water with turbulence generated by waves, nor can they be positioned in deep water with low current velocity. What about environmental impacts? Tidal energy provides both environmental benefits and drawbacks, and the total impact on the ecosystem remains ambiguous, depending on the location of the power facility. The development of tidal power plants may endanger the ecosystem. Underwater structures of the power plant may alter the ambient flow field and water quality, damaging marine life habitats. Sea species are highly prone to be harmed by rotating turbine blades. The underwater noise created by the turbines also has a negative impact on animal navigation and communication. The Annapolis Royal Generating Station in Canada was shut down by the local authorities last year owing to the considerable threat it presented to fish. Tidal power plants, on the other hand, may be beneficial to the environment. Following the construction of power plants, a shift in gradient is observed that benefits aquatic ecology. An increase in oxygen content is frequently recorded, indicating an improvement in water quality. So what is the path forward for tidal energy? There are an increasing number of tidal power plant projects in the works. The Morelice project, which began in Wales, envisioned installing turbines at one of the world's largest tidal stream energy sites, encompassing 13 square miles of seabed. When completed, the project is planned to power 180,000 residences. Other prospective tidal power facilities include South Korea's Incheon Tidal Power Station and Russia's Penzinskaya Tidal Power Plant. More study on tidal technology is needed to address geographical limitations, high costs, and environmental concerns. The maritime energy sector in the United Kingdom has received $213 million in financing for innovation and research. A budget of $24 million U.S. million is also allotted to further develop tidal stream energy. Technology research funding is critical for overcoming current limits and limitations. Overall, with its growing relevance in the energy industry, renewable energy will remain a hot subject. While many of these clean energies are still in the development stage, there is little question that the only solution to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and prevent climate change is to shift to civilizations powered entirely by renewable energy. Well, that's it from this video. What do you think about the potential of tidal energy? Do you think tidal energy is the best renewable energy resource available out there? Share your thoughts by commenting below. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and share this video with your friends to help spread awareness. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more interesting videos every week.